How are you good people? This is yet another beautiful morning uh, that I'm doing this. I've started uh, my racking exercise. Today I'm planning to do to cover a five mile rack march that should be around uh, eight kilometers there or thereabout. I've not done this for, for some time now but uh, all in all I've been doing some other things to maintain whatever gains that uh, I had uh, already uh, uh, gotten. So this is yet another uh, video that uh, I focus on uh, racking. I would encourage you guys, if uh, you are into losing weight or you want to remain fit, this is one of the best exercise that uh, you can incorporate uh, so that uh, you build your strength, you build your, your endurance, you are cardiovascular and uh, you become fit. Guys, I normally say racking is one of the best because all you need uh, is just a bag. You put in some weight and you, and you start walking. Uh, nothing difficult there, only that uh, uh, you only need to invest on a, on a bag. Uh, like me, this is my rucksack, I think you can see it. I've loaded it with some weight. Uh, it is about uh, it is about 22 kilograms. That is the ideal weight that I normally like to rack. You can start small, and you will gain the momentum as you go by. So, guys, welcome to my video. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new into this channel, you can uh, consider subscribing. If you are into losing weight, if you are into fitness things, this is your channel. Uh, this is your guy Stan Carson. Consider subscribing. Consider hitting uh, the like if you like the, the video. And uh, we'll do more. So guys, this morning, I've just started. I'm already on end route to the route that uh, I had selected for today. Uh, since I've not done this for quite some time, I'm expecting to cover around... 8 kilometers as I earlier said uh, for the start so guys uh, you can be doing this at least twice a week uh, you incorporate this with other exercise this one it's uh, you, you, you keep it slow and you enjoy its benefit because you are just walking literally you are just walking the only thing is that uh, you have added some weight uh, on you so guys uh, this is a very good one I like it it has worked for me, and I also believe it can work for someone else out there. So guys, keep it real. So let us do this. All right. So guys, I'm on my route. This is my normal route that I normally, I normally rack on. Yeah, I like this route uh, because uh, it has some climbs. It is hilly, again, uh, less activity. Yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, traffic here, so it becomes ideal for me for doing my recording and also incorporating my other exercise. As you can feel now, I'm already, I've already raised my heartbeat. I've just or I'm just uh, climbing a hill here. I'm from a small hill down there. It's about uh, 500 meters uh, from down there up to the finish line up there. Yeah, I like it because uh, it really raises my heartbeat. It really gives me uh, that endurance that I want to achieve. Sometimes, I do some sprints or some jogs on this hill uh, when I want <coughs> to to burn more. Yeah, guys. So this is a very nice uh, route. I like it so much by virtue that it is also a countryside hill uh, road. Uh, it is our all-weather road, as you can see. It is our all-weather road. Yeah, it is also good for my knees. I avoid, I try to avoid uh, hard stuff. 
like the tarmac. Yeah, so, so far so good. I'm doing it. Uh, I feel so good. As you can see today, I'm wearing a Marvin. Uh, basically, my routine is to try and uh, as, as, you, as you are doing an exercise, you sweat. I try to preserve that heat. Yeah, I think a process called thermogenesis, something like that. I try to preserve that heat within me. I don't want any of it escape. At times, I see some people doing morning runs early in the morning. They are only on vest or a t-shirt. Oh, I don't think if I can manage to do that because uh, I tend to believe um, it is not a, a proper routine uh, of doing the exercise but I stand to be corrected anyway. Yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, I'm to it. So far, I've covered uh, around two kilometers from where I started from. Yeah, I'm not focusing on speed today, other than endurance, other than the, the walks. That is my area of focus. Day. just want to get that endurance as I said I've not done this for quite some time and I want to come back uh, slowly to avoid injuries yeah to avoid uh, muscle cramps and the likes yeah because uh, you know when uh, you've not done something for quite some time and uh, you jump straight into it you may injure yourself you may uh, experience some uh, muscle cramps so I just want to take things a little bit slow yeah to make it uh, comfortable for me until that time that uh, I will feel comfortable to incorporate speed actually I do speed from time to time just to, int to intensify the burn as you, you run or as you jog with the rucksack on you really feel the burn and uh, it, it is a good form of uh, intensifying the burn you burn more calories so guys still on the climb uh, let, me, let me show you you can see behind me it is a steep climb yeah it really uh, makes my muscles to strain and I know when I stay in that way, the benefits that I'm getting. So I was talking about uh, thermogenesis. Uh, try to cover your body with something uh, that will prevent the heat from escaping. Yes. But unless you are doing it indoors, if you are doing, if you are doing an exercise indoors, then not a problem you can wear whatever outfit you feel like or if it is sunny like now uh, when I moved out of the house it was a little bit cold so that is why I decided to put on the Marvin but now it is sunny and I'm not going to remove my Marvin I'm going to maintain it to retain that heat within me yeah, so guys, so far so good. We are doing this and I like it. You can also do this. And it is a very effective way of uh, torching those calories, uh, uh, building those, uh, building your muscles, your lower body. Guys, one thing that I wanted to talk about is the uh, is a preparation of uh, your rucksack. Yeah, let me catch a breath. It is really intensive. It is intensive. Ooh, I can see the end of the climb about uh, 50 meters from where I am. So I'll keep on doing, I'll keep on going. It 
is so nice. So, so nice. Yeah. So right now, uh, I feel warmed up. I feel uh, ready for the business. Ready to tackle the task that is ahead. Guys, when I started this, my target was to be every given uh, walk that I take. I targeted to cover at least one hour. So I can't do anything less than that. That is my bare minimum, at least one hour. So guys, and mind you, I've done this for quite some time now. I'm not a starter. So what I focus on when I have more time, I, uh, I try to cover uh, longer distances, longer time. I think the maximum time that uh, I have ever racked uh, was uh, uh, four hours. And I did around uh, 12 miles, yeah. So, yeah, so it was a good one. Uh, nowadays, I don't do that uh, long uh, matches. I only do uh, at least two hours and I'm done. Since uh, I incorporate the exercise uh, with, the other, with other exercise, uh, for example, uh, in the gym, I like doing some uh, lifting, not heavy lifting, but just some lifting uh, yeah, to, suit, to suit my goals. I know we have different goals. All of us have uh, different goals in their fitness. So mine, uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not exceptional. I have my goals that I want to achieve. I have been overweight, if I may say so, uh, and I felt how it was. Now, uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to uh, shed off that extra fat and I want to be fit as you can see I think yeah that is my rucksack that is the one that I like to carry most actually it is the only one that I have for now it does the job it is not uh, the very best but at least it does the job for me uh, guys when you are uh, sourcing for a rucksack you need to look for a rucksack that uh, has a comfortable back I should be having at least a, a, a spongy like spongy like uh, back that will fit perfect uh, on your uh, on your back so that when you put the weight it won't uh, uh, cause injuries to your back yeah, once uh, I'm through, one day I will prepare a video showing uh, uh, whatever I'm talking about, the flat, uh, the padded, the padded back, uh, which should be reinforced with either some uh, uh, aluminium uh, frame, some are reinforced by uh, plastic, yeah, just to make it comfortable for you. Uh, another thing, you are strapped. Mine, I have used them. I have used the bag for quite some time, so they tend to roll. But instead, uh, uh, you should look for a, one that uh, has a comfortable straps, uh, well padded, to avoid injuries on your shoulders. The other thing you need to look for is this uh, waistband. Waistband. Yeah, it is very important to have a rucksack that has a waistband. This one will bring the weight closer to your body, tighter to your body, and all the weight uh, will be accommodated by the uh, into your hips. That is where your strongest uh, part of the body is. So ensure you have the one that uh, has the straps on your waistline. They will uh, accommodate. They will help you accommodate uh, the weight as well as uh, avoid the weight from moving uh, all over your body oh, yeah so to keep the weight intact another thing guys uh, that uh, 
uh, is crucial you need to consider having the top the top straps yeah mine is here yeah the top strap uh, recommended should be up here so that it can avoid the the straps from moving outside such that uh, will be uncomfortable always trying to to bring the bag to a comfort zone yeah so we should have uh, also the top strap yeah and, and it should be strong enough to be able to accommodate the weight yeah since uh, you will be dealing with the uh, with weights yeah that is it guys uh when you have that then you are good to go you're good to go you can go ahead unload your weight and uh, that is it yeah that is it yeah yeah since I'm walking uh, along where people lives I have a lot of uh, some uh, curious onlookers uh, they are wondering what this man is doing talking to himself <laughs> yeah but uh, it's okay if you know you know so guys so far so good I feel real fresh I've, uh, re I've already warmed up so my time is uh, 40 minutes so I'm at uh, 40 minutes and I feel good 40 minutes uh, almost three kilometers I feel real good. I feel real, real good. My normal speed usually is five kilometers per hour when I'm racking. Five kilometers per hour. Yes. So that is my normal speed. Sometimes when I jog, I can even do six, six uh, kilometers. public road so that is why you can hear uh, motorcycles uh, are passing by it is good it is better than the highways that uh, we have uh, fast moving vehicles there which makes it de uh, dangerous for someone who is walking especially when shooting a video like this yeah So guys, another important thing that I have just remembered. When you are preparing to do your walk or your exercise, you need to have a comfortable, comfortable, uh, uh, let me call them a uh, truck, uh, truck suit that is. Eh? Why? Because uh, you will experience some friction, especially uh, below the waistline so with you it is important that you select your clothing uh, wisely because I'm telling you it can be a pain you may start this before you even get to your destination you abandon the entire thing and you'll be looking for people to recover you so guys <laughs> you need to be comfortable to reduce that friction you can use either uh, uh, like biker or whatever I don't know whatever that is comfortable for you but just try and avoid the tough clothes uh, that when you experience the friction you will get burnt I'm telling you it is something that has happened to me and uh, it is really painful it, it is really painful so be comfortable for most of the videos that I've, uh, I've been watching uh, in YouTube I've not had people 
talking about that. So I think it is very important to check on uh, whatever you are wearing or your first day may be your last. <laughs> yeah, it is an experience that I've had. Yeah, so uh, again, have comfortable shoes. Uh, comfortable shoes. Yeah, because uh, you will also experience a lot of friction uh, beneath there when uh, you walk. So if you are into sport shoe, ensure it is uh, well fitting and uh, it is comfortable. Uh, for me, I like using my boots. You can see, I like doing that because uh, especially they hold my ankle together and it is a one unit thing. So I feel real comfortable with this. And since I walk on different terrains, uh, it protects my ankle from a dislocation or something, or from twisting. Yeah, so that is very important, uh, very important to remember or to note. Yeah. Select your uh, clothing wisely. Good. Yeah, so far so good. So far so good. I'm into it. I feel real fresh. Oh man. Yeah, we go. Today I want to attempt a new route. Uh, I've never used it before. I don't know where the route is headed to. But I just assume, since I can see the general direction, I just assume uh, where it will lead to. I want to attempt, and it should be in like uh, two, three hundred meters. I should be taking my left turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we do this. We do this. Guys, I'm telling you, this was a new route for me. I've never used this route. I've only been seeing that diversion there over there, down there. I'm telling you, it is hilly for like one kilometer now, and I'm still climbing, still climbing. Oh, I'm telling you, I feel good. You see where I come from? Down there. And I still have like uh, three, three to 400 meters ahead of me. The route was new. I've never used it, but now I've gotten another route that uh, will suit me. Oh, it is so good. My heartbeat is up there. Oh, my breath, my breath, uh, I'm breathing heavily because of the climb. I'm telling you, sometimes it is good to explore new things. I'm used to doing uh, just a flat route yeah but today this is a new one worth doing and uh, for sure i shall revisit from time and again this is a very good one i feel so good i feel so so good oh i'm almost completing my climb it is like a kilometer and so hill climb yeah so you have to lean forward <coughs> so that I can uh, manage to climb. All right, guys. Oh, so far so good. Uh, I'm doing it real good. Remember the turn that I took when I said uh, I was going to explore a new route? Yeah. So that whole route, it was like a circuit. Uh, it, it has added two kilometers on my normal route. I was supposed to hit the road straight uh, behind me uh, to my final destination, which is usually where this road meets another tarmac road down there. Uh, instead, I decided to take uh, this uh, route that is right ahead of me. It's about 150 meters from where I am, uh, which I'd never used to before. It was a little bit hilly. I liked it. It was so nice, so wonderful. And uh, all in all, it was like a two kilometer added on my entire route. So this is the route that I took. It was a left turn. Yeah, 
yeah, going up there. So it was a left turn. Uh, I went for, I walked for about a kilometer, a kilometer or a kilometer and a half. Okay, let's say a kilometer. And uh, fortunately, uh, the road met, uh, was intersecting with the main road, the tarmac road, but somewhere at a point up there. So it, it, it is like I've done a circuit. I've done a complete circuit. So now I'm back to my original route. I've already uh, hit so far six kilometers, which uh, is a good start. Usually uh, one way I do four kilometers and return four kilometers. So usually it is eight. Today, by introduction of the new route, I've added two more kilometers, which was not uh, on my program, but all in all, it, anything that I add is better for me than uh, anything less. So welcome to Racking. If you are new to this channel, for the new ones uh, here, I do racking, I do uh, various uh, fitness activities. Uh, for me, uh, nothing major. Uh, it is not a must, I have equipment, but anything that can keep me going, anything, as long as I'm making movement, yeah, I'm good to go. So, and so far, I've uh, reaped the benefits of uh, the whole thing, the benefits of fitness, and uh, I feel great. And this is a lifestyle. Uh, for me, it is a lifestyle. It is something that I do as a lifestyle. So if you want to be successful in anything, in, in anything make it a lifestyle. Don't, make it, don't take it as a punishment or you want to see results there and there. It doesn't come that easy. You have to be patient and uh, you have to be consistent. As long as you are doing something, just be sure that results are there and uh, you will be able to see results uh, uh, progressively as uh, you continue with your thing, with your exercise. So guys, so far so good. I really like it. Uh, get on board. Let us do this thing. It is so good. Uh, it is a good form of uh, burning the fats. If you don't like running, try racking. If you are new, you can just start by, with a lightweight, lightweight, uh, uh, I normally say about 10% uh, of your total body weight, exactly. So start small and along the way you will catch the momentum and uh, you will like it and it is something that uh, it is uh, really enjoyable, you will enjoy doing it during your free time, you just do racking. Again, uh, when you are racking, you can uh, be doing other things. You can be making your phone calls, talking to your business partners, if any, talking to your friends, catching up, and at the same time, you are gaining. And like, uh, when you are in the gym, there's no time of doing all that. It is a serious business out there. Uh, let's do this. I'll uh, see you later. Okay, cheers. Has been awesome. Today's route has thrown a lot of surprises to me. I went uh, to new routes and uh, whatever I've seen today, oh, I can't, I can't explain right now, later maybe. So guys, right now, I'm on my last climb. My last climb of the day that will lead me close to my destination. So it is usually a uh, steep climb that uh, I normally call it a finisher. So here, it's just like a 100 meters climb, but I'm telling you, it is something that really sucks the energy from me. Oh, after the whole journey that uh, I've gone through, now I'm on to my last. And uh, I'm about to finish. Oh, I feel good. I feel so great. Uh, I've burnt a lot. Today, I've exceeded my expectation for the day. 
initially when I started this this was not the initial plan but uh, somewhere along the way I decided to take things on a higher level and now here I am so I feel great uh, see you at the finish line oh oh that was so nice so guys I've hit my finish mark I've come to the end of my today's uh, uh, rucksack uh, match this is a usual field that I like uh, finishing at because it gives me some space to be able to do my warm downs today I can see it is occupied by the peoples this is a school field a school track so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, offload my bag so that uh, I can do some stretches some warm downs uh, to, uh, to call it a, a, a day so guys it has been a wonderful rack match from when I started to now as I said earlier today's route has really thrown uh, some surprises to me I decided to explore new routes to use uh, routes that I've never used before and uh, instead of covering my normal eight, uh, eight kilometers as I had planned I ended up uh, covering uh, 12 kilometers so I've done that in uh, two hours 30 minutes so it is a, it has been a great uh, exercise for me I feel good I'm sweating everywhere literally so I believe that uh, every extra step every step that I make it is a plus to me uh, as I do my exercises I consider each extra rep or uh, extra minutes that I add uh, in my routine I believe it is really helpful for me because it is uh, uh, it translates to extra calories uh, being burned so guys I feel good I feel great uh, welcome us once again in my channel if you are new here uh, this is a Stan Carson channel uh, here we focus on uh, fitness I do racks I guide uh, you I'll guide you on how to do the racks how to get started its benefits and the likes so guys I'm gonna head up and uh, put my load down stretch up and uh, have a rest and go and have a rest clean up and have a rest okay so guys thank you so much thank you for joining with me for staying with me until next time subscribe and cheers peace